Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a spring home decor house tour. And I guess you would call this maybe an Easter home tour too. I did do some decorating for Easter. I have some cute little pieces that I can share with you guys. And you know, it's just spring vibes downstairs. This is just downstairs. I didn't really do any decorating upstairs in my house, but I wanted to share with you guys what I did. And if you guys saw my Christmas home decor house tour, it looks way more spacious now. <laughs> and when we got done um, on decorating, or when I, because my husband does not help me with these things, when I got done putting all the Christmas decorations away, I was like, oh my God, the house looks so much more spacious. I love it because I had like a lot of trees and just like a lot of Christmas decorations in general. So I love how spacious it is. And I just wanted to share with you guys what I did for spring slash Easter. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and the notification bell down below. And without further ado, if you guys like to see my spring home decor house tour slash Easter, then just keep watching. For spring and even summer, I just go very minimal in our living room. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna go into detail in a second. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like zoomed out. Right over here on the ottoman, this is pretty much my cat's chair. Koda and Koala sit in that little corner right there. And there is so much cat hair <laughs> inside that. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. Um, it's like wedged in underneath the seats. But anyway, so this is the cat chair, but I have these little throw pillows I swapped out. There were Christmas holiday ones before. That Oblon, I think that's how you say it, Oblon throw pillow, home is where the heart is. That is from Kohl's. And the furry one, I believe, or the faux fur one. I don't know, that might be from like Home Goods or Marshalls or even JCPenney's, I'm not sure. And then that one in the back over there, if I can zoom in without walking over there, there you go, you can see it. I just like the, um, you know, the pattern on it. That is from Kohl's as well. So those are just my little throw pills going, throw pillows, throw pills, throw pillows going on over on the ottoman with that blanket. And then moving on to this couch over here, again, I just have some throw pillows on this couch this is actually my couch when we watch tv up there i get the smaller couch um so the the pillow in the middle i think i actually have it upside down it almost kind of looks like coral reef a little bit but that is from kohl's and then that shaggy pillow right there i have two more on my um bigger couch i'll show you in a second those are from home goods and i believe they still have like all different variations of them and then the one behind it and then on that side as well and i have two more on this side those are from kohl's and then i believe that little pillow is from like kohl's or jc pennies i just you know threw them on there so that's what that couch looks like or my couch moving on to the coffee table you guys have probably seen this before i pretty much leave it on here year round. For Christmas, I basically took the flowers out and just stuffed a bunch of pine cones in it. So now I have the flowers back in. And this is all I believe from either Marshalls or Home Goods, the tray with the jewels, and then um, that little like rectangular holder with the jewels. And then there's like a little flower arrangement inside it. That's what I put in because it doesn't come with flowers. So I had to actually buy like a rectangular flower arrangement and put it inside it. But everything I believe is from Home Goods or Marshalls. So it's simple. I like it. It's glam. I like the jewels. You guys will see the jewel theme in my kitchen as well. Um, you know, throughout the house actually for that matter. And then there is Koala Girl. Koala! Koala, what are you doing? She's getting ready for nap time, guys. And then over on these two end tables, I have these little bunnies. I got these at, I wanna say Walmart, and they were super cheap. They're just like these little bunny glass figurines. So I just have those there. I have one on that end table, and then over here, you guys can kind of see, I have one over there. And then lastly, moving on to this couch, I'll zoom out first. Um, I've just switched up the pillows a little bit. Usually the, the pillow in the center, I switch out during the seasons. If you guys can see right there that, I guess I'm gonna call it Oblon again. That pillow right there, I that is from Home Goods. And if you guys can see the detail, I like it because those are supposed to actually be Easter eggs. And um, you know, I really liked it and it's got flowers on the top. So that's my little like Easter slash spring throw pillow. And then you guys have seen obviously the other pillows before. The two shaggy pillows again are from Home Goods, and then all these other pillows on the sides are from Kohl's. So that is what that couch looks like, and that is my husband's couch 
when he watches TV. I almost forgot to show you guys the fireplace. So if you guys remember my fall um, house tour, home tour, I had that burlap ribbon that you guys will see. I'll zoom in in a second. I had that burlap ribbon on the fireplace and then I think I had just like white pumpkins. Burlap is considered fall decor, but I'm like, you know what? I think it would still look good. So, and I like the burlap too, the burlap garland because it covers the sound bar. You can't see the sound bar underneath it. So um, I put the burlap ribbon again on the top of the fireplace that is from Hobby Lobby and then there are LED string lights woven in between um you know throughout the burlap ribbon it turns on around four o'clock so I don't have them on now but it looks nice at night when we're watching tv and then I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see what else I have going on this little home is where the heart is decor piece is from TJ Maxx I believe and then I kind of just wanted to get close so you guys can see I put these easter eggs but I love them because they have pearls on them so they're really glam which I love I think I got them at like you know, just Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, they all kind of sell the same stuff, you guys. But um, they had the, these like pearl Easter eggs. You just gotta be careful because they're kind of heavy and they break. I know some of them are missing pearls from when I've dropped them, uh, trying to get them to stay on the fireplace. So last year, I don't even think I used them. I don't even know where to put them. So I'm like, let me just put them on the fireplace. So I kind of just angled them on the fireplace and I thought that that looked cute for Easter. So again, that's what the living room area looks like. and pretty much for the summertime I might switch out a couple things I obviously take the Easter eggs off the fireplace and whatnot and then those Easter bunnies there and what's a video without Mr. Coda he is looking out the back window right now March 1st snow see that you guys but anyways usually he likes to sunbathe right um you know behind the curtain here he'll lay down sprawl out and sunbathe but um yeah so that's Mr. Coda okay so moving on I usually put some kind of wreath on this closet door it's just my vacuum and broom and everything in this closet so I found this like wooden Easter bunny shaped wreath with a burlap ribbon I think this is from Hobby Lobby Bobby. I'm pretty sure it's yeah this is from Hobby Lobby this wreath I absolutely love it so I thought that that looked cute there and I believe I did do this last year I didn't put it on my front door I just put it on the closet door then moving on to the kitchen this is what it looks like zoomed out I will get into detail but again um, I don't have too much going on in the kitchen. I like to, you know, less is more in my mind. So that's what the kitchen looks like. But let me just show you some of my cute like spring slash Easter decor pieces that I do have in the kitchen. I didn't know where to put this. I got this actually at Walmart last year. They actually had a pretty decent, um, I mean, it was just one aisle, but they had like a lot of different uh, Easter decor pieces and spring decor pieces and their decor pieces are a lot cheaper than home goods. So I saw this little cute wooden bunny again with like the burlap ribbon been a little bit around the neck there and it says Easter blessing so I just decided to stick it there I think last year I had it on top of the windowsill I know that's going to be bright you guys but I'll get to that in a second so I just stuck it there for this year side note do any of you guys get magazines in the mail all the time and you have no clue why you're getting them I just started getting People Magazine about a month and a half ago and I never signed up for it. I don't even know where it comes from and it comes weekly and I, I'm not really a magazine person but let me know in the comments down below if any of you guys get magazines, you don't even know how you get them. I mean, it's cool I'm getting free magazines because I know these are probably like five bucks in the stores but um, I don't know, I just figured I'd mention that because I just don't know where these magazines are coming from. So over here, it might be a little bit bright because the sun is shining in but I basically have this candle holder from Bath and Body Works. I think it's from like maybe last year and I have champagne toast inside it and I love champagne toast especially for like the spring. It's just a really nice um kind of like sweet scent. Uh, it depends if you like sweet scents or not, but that's a nice scent if you guys are looking for like a nice spring candle. Last week, I started getting flowers or carnations again to put in my vase over here. I do this pretty much all the way up until maybe September and um, carnations, well, these carnations will last me like two weeks, so I'm not buying flowers all the time. Carnations last a really long time, so that's why I like them, and this whole bouquet was, I think, like under five bucks at Walmart so you know that's my spring inside the house because we're definitely if you guys can see the snow out there it's not looking like spring out there so um yeah I like to just get carnations and keep them there and then for the windowsill hopefully it's not too dark because of the glare from the sun 
I think I got this again, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods, one of them in the Easter section. I think it might have been Home Goods. It just says Happy Easter, and it's got the three little bunnies with their tails, and I believe it's like, it looks like it's a little burlap ribbon um, around the necks. I don't know, but anyways, obviously, it matches the whole theme with my kitchen, so I have that there above the sink, and then I have those little jewel crystal votives with fake candles inside it. Again, like you guys will see that like jewel theme throughout my house. Um, you know, you'll see it in a second, but anyways, I just put those votives. They, those votives actually, I used to have on top of my fireplace, but I have the eggs there now. I'll probably move them back once those pearl, once I move the pearl eggs off the fireplace. So I just have that going on for the windowsill. You know, I mentioned in previous home tours, I like to switch out dish towels, even though I don't even use these dish towels at all. So these ones I got last year, again, like right in the checkout section, they have Tons of dish towels at Marshalls, Home Goods, TJ Maxx. So this one says, Some Bunny Loves Me. And I thought that that was super cute. They'll probably have similar ones. They might even have the same ones. I'm not really sure. So I just stuck those there just for, you know, the next, I think, what, April? The end of April is Easter. So for the next two months. This jewel vase is from Hobby Lobby. Again, like I said, I, I love, like, the crystal jewels. I have it throughout my whole house. So that, I believe, is from Hobby Lobby. And then I just put some nice white flowers in it. Fake flowers. They're probably from, like, Michael's or Hobby Lobby. And also those votives as well are from Hobby Lobby. Moving on over here, I have Cranberry Pear Bellini from Bath & Body Works Burning. I just lit it. This is a really nice one for the spring. I think I picked that up at the candle sale where the candles were like $8.95 or nine bucks around Christmas time. Also too, you'll see right there, it's like a jewel candle holder that I have the candle in. That is from Hobby Lobby. And then that um, is like, I use that as a utensil holder. Again, that jewel, I don't even know. I think you wanna call it a vase, but I use it as a utensil holder. That is from Hobby Lobby as well. And over here, you can disregard the candles because I know they're both kind of Christmas candles still. I just keep them there because they match the granite. Um, but I have the little flowers in the back, the fake flowers. It's just, I believe it's just like one little bouquet you can get at Michael's and then I found a vase there as well. So I thought that that looks cute there. And again, that is actually supposed to be, I think it's like a jewelry tray or something, but it's got the little jewels on it. That is from Hobby Lobby as well. Last but not least for the kitchen is the island. This is a candle holder. This is from Home Goods. I got it last year. I've seen these periodically. Um, like over the last year. So they probably still have them. I've seen them um, longer and I've seen them this size. So it's, you know, personal preference. But anyways, instead of putting candles, because obviously I got it because of the jewels, because it goes with my jewel theme or crystal theme. Um, I just took the tops off. I bought like a bouquet of flowers, fake flowers from Michael's. And then I just took the tops off of them and I put them inside the candle holder. So I thought that that looks cute. So that's what that looks like. It's simple, but it adds something to the island. Last but not least is the dining room. This looks so much simpler than it did around the holidays. I had a Christmas tree over there. I had a garland on the table and it was such a hot mess to clean up this room. So now it looks simple and plain and I love it. But actually I should just mention, so these um, little paintings right here, I got those, oh, I wanna say that those are from home. Yeah, those are definitely from Home Goods, but I think I've seen these same painting at like TJ Maxx or Marshalls. But anyways, that I that's nice for the spring. And I believe they probably like still have those. They sell them there. So I have that one there. It's a nice little flower. And then that one over there as well, I believe is from Home Goods. So just like check out for them because I feel like it's like a very common print that they sell. So I figured I'd mention that because they are flowers and this is a spring themed home tour. Over on the dining room table, I did this last year as well, but that is basically just a candlestick holder and I took the tops off flowers. I bought a bouquet, really cheap, and I just took the tops off of it and put them in where the candlesticks would go. So I think that that looks cute. And then I have, and I believe, yeah, that's got like little flowers and leaves, but you know, for fall, I think I kept this here too. So it kind of serves both purposes for um, spring, summer, and fall. So I just put the little flowers in there. That's a good idea. If you guys are wondering like what to do as a centerpiece, you can kind of just get like a candlestick holder and put flowers in it. And then um, I just have these little LED lights draped around it. 
I don't usually turn it on unless like we have guests coming over or whatever, but that's what that looks like. Simple, but still spring. That's what it looks like from this angle as well. But anyways, that is it for this video, this spring slash Easter home tour. If we ever get spring, let me know what you guys like to do to decorate your house for spring. Do you decorate for Easter? It's not like I went crazy for Easter, but I do like to incorporate some Easter things in my house. But anyways, that is it for this video. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you in my next video. Bye.